All right, mini bike action. Uh, what's happening, all you Vader geeks out there? <laughs> um, all right, so I got the forks uh, installed and the steering neck bearings done yesterday. Um, with the neck bearings in now, and I ended up having to use, because the top bearing would not, the race would not go all the way down into the frame deep enough, um, the whole assembly wouldn't go together where I could put the top nut on and tighten it all down. So I ended up using the tapered bearings at the bottom, which is where I had a bad bearing, a, like a ball missing and grooves in the races to where they actually tried to center notch themselves. So uh, anyway, so I got the good one, the tapered one down here with the seal and everything. And then on the top, I used the good ball bearing race and the good bearings and uh, went that way. Uh, it feels way more solid. It feels nice. It's not notchy. The forks. I don't know if you've ever, any of you have ever put a set of forks on a bike. I put a set of forks on my pit bike over here and it completely changed. I mean, I ended up buying, I, first I put a cheaper set of $100 inverted forks on it. Uh, the bike never really felt right or handled right. I tried working with the oil and the spring rates and stuff and got them to work okay. When I put this front end on this thing, it completely changed the way that bike would go through stuff. It, it, now it will just, you can just chew through anything with it and then know the front tire's gonna stick. And it did the same thing for this thing. It's really a noticeable improvement of how solid the front end feels now with those on there. Um, so I really haven't had a chance to ride it much because it's been raining a lot, even at this late part of the year, so. Um, one of the things that I noticed on this bike, and I knew it would be kind of an issue. I don't know if you can see that with the light. But the height of these. The adjuster, this is your actually your preload adjust. And then on top of that, you have your dampening control. I took the knobs off, so I just have these little slotted things in there for now because... I had to end up raising the handlebars just to get it to clear this. So I took and actually did it kind of the lame way. I stacked some washers and I wrapped tape around them so you couldn't tell they were washers, but I stacked them. So I I didn't want to put any more money into this thing, really, as far as the handlebars or any of that. But I'm probably going to end up having to put the raised uh, mounts with a flatter set of bars. Um, so that's one of those things, um, but they definitely feel good. The bike feels more stable. I'll let you know more about it when I ride it. And I haven't even adjusted them. I got the springs on the softest setting and, uh, dampeners are all the way soft on rebound and compression. Uh, but I mean, the bike, the feel of it is just so much nicer now. It's just got a real smooth solid feel up there when you go down the road you can really tell the bike just feels more stable so that's where it's at i'm going to do a riding video i think the weather's supposed to improve this week so i'm going to take it around and do another riding video on this thing uh, it's running pretty good these days so yeah as that kit broke in it just ran better and better uh 141 t-bolt kit so anyway hope everybody's taking care out there um, appreciate the views and the uh, comments. Uh, Vader later.